Hey guys, welcome to Gaming with Bare Hands. Super exciting day today. We've got the sudden death challenge. Was really excited to jump into it. Kind of figured I'd get a little bit of practice. Uh, wasn't 100% sure what deck I wanted to play with simply because I hadn't put a whole lot of thought into it. Jumped over into OJ's channel. Went halfway into the video approximately. Picked out this deck uh, and didn't even watch the video. I know it was good because... It's always fresh, but it's spell bait and I'm pretty comfortable with these cards. Definitely like princess loving the rocket and absolutely whomped on this challenge. We went 12 and one in that one loss. That one loss was just janky jank. In fact, I'm going to show it to you. Okay. These are pretty fast games, so I can show you my, my loss in here playing against the big poppy. And you got the you got the jump on me for sure. I was at ten wins here, zero losses, and this is our this was our first and only loss of the challenge. I go in here with a with a nice knight goblin barrel combo, do some decent damage on there. I throw my princess down here, and then he just goes he just goes full on lumberjack balloon, and then I get these I get I've got one spear goblin helping me out here and he is going to freeze excuse me he's gonna freeze our tower and i thought i, I thought i was gonna lose it right there and i didn't and at this point i just i just lose my mind decide to throw the rocket miss the lumberjack and pretty much lost it at that point going so crazy i really really needed to prepare for a balloon push get my princess down cross lane get that inferno tower placed differently maybe even use the rocket on the balloon it was foolish of me to try to throw it at the tower when it wasn't in rocket range i was slipping aside from that unfortunate incident i'm gonna th i'm gonna show you three other games we had a game here against eduardo and i'm gonna just start the thing off and kind of test the deck and see what we're looking at here if he's got log if we need to be concerned with the amount of spells that he has uh, we deal a ton of damage off that tower, and I decide, you know what, let's just throw the goblins in the back. Also see if we can pull another spell out. He's not playing a whole lot of anything. Uh, and then he drops that golem down, so I know I need to get that in front of the tower down pronto. I throw the knight up close to the river, just in case he's got the Electro Wizard, because I was a little close to that river there. If he dropped the Electro Wizard and could reach the Inferno Tower, I would have been in trouble. But look at this Inferno Tower just... It killed everything. It killed the golem, it killed the baby dragon, it killed the musketeer. And then we're gonna clean up these ice wizards. Go ahead and get the knight down here, throw the goblin barrel over there. Without a lot of spells to answer the goblin barrel, we are gonna just deal so much damage. And I, I felt we were in range of a victory. Notice how much damage we've taken on our tower here, guys. Absolutely nothing. Let's split our goblins to soak this dragon hit. Get the princess down. He should have threw something down on the field to stop it because uh, he knew the princess was coming and we're going to sneak that tower away. Flawless victory, which isn't really that impressive in sudden death, but still pretty cool. All right, we got another interesting game here against the same deck. I'm pretty sure this is identical. Somebody got the memo, but we're going to throw this log, hit the prince. Almost missed the princess with that log. Fat finger problems i'm gonna go ahead and throw this here again kind of scout out the deck he's gonna he's gonna spam those goblins down there with that ice spirit and we're just gonna throw a pretty conservative princess knight back here and then also get the goblins over on one of the sides to help clean up that goblin barrel and i was a little worried because i haven't had a lot of practice and if this is someone who's been practicing this deck a lot you're not gonna do as well uh, but I was playing nice and defensive. I wasted a bunch of elixir there, which wasn't all that great. Uh, but I feel decent about him logging our princess. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw the knight down here to deal with this princess. Throw my goblin barrel. And then he's got two princesses for our log and worth on goblins. That might have been the game winning play right there. Uh, or the game losing play for him rather throwing a, a same lane princess on another princess with goblins that's a lot of elixir that i got ahead there we're gonna go ahead and throw this down here just i'm gonna take a little bit of damage here i had the log but chose not to do it because i kind of wanted to play a little bit more aggressive and chip 
his tower with the log. That might not be the best way to do it, uh, but I felt pretty good here. We throw an ice spirit into a log. It, it's excruciating. This is excruciating. He cleans up pretty decently. We get a lot of damage off there. He probably, at this point in the game, needed to just focus on logging our goblin barrel. I think that's probably where he kind of lost things. We're going to use our log on this goblin barrel, actually. Really wanted it to clip his princess, but we were a little bit off there. And then after his princess locks onto the tower so it doesn't splash our goblins here, we're going to play them so that he's forced to play something else. He throws that log down, which we like because we can throw goblin barrel uh, since he used it on our goblin gang. And we're at when it's within like the 700 damage range, you kind of want to just focus on logging his tower until it's within rocket range. And there, there it is right there. Uh, 475, I think our rocket does just slightly more than that. I should have known the exact amount, but when we switch over to these tournament standards, I get mixed up. And finally, the coup de gras of this challenge was against this guy. And it's a slightly different variation of the deck that we're playing with. He's rolling with a hog goblin barrel rocket dark goblin deck so really really interesting i actually log drop the knight and don't take any damage on that which was pretty nice i like that and then we're gonna throw our princess cross lane which is important with princess uh maybe could have saved her and threw something else down there then he comes in here with a pretty hefty push so we're gonna just be safe i could have went greedy for the tower but i mess up a lot when i do that so i just kind of hung back with the log a little bit just to make sure i Clip that Dark Goblin. Dark Goblin's gonna get caught up on the Inferno Tower. That was a worth Inferno Tower. And then we're gonna do a little bit of a push in here with the Goblin Barrel Knight, Ice Spirit. Look at all of that damage. It's crazy. I would expect there, I would expect there to be more logs and uh, arrows in this challenge, but not the case with the decks that I faced. Might be different for you guys. Uh, we're gonna shut down this Hog Push over on this side, even though he's able to zap things away we take care of it pretty easily don't know why i threw the goblin barrel there i was a little worried the knight was going to do more damage than it would have uh but that's okay i got the princess to lock onto the tower so i just went with a log because i knew it was going to get us within rocket range and that that felt very convincing victory there i really enjoy jumping into these challenges and winning them the first try because it's just, it's refreshing. I lose a lot of challenges and being able to go into one and just crush it. I would have liked to have videoed it live, but I feel like I play better. And I think you can understand going into the game without having the sound all, the sound's wacky when I have this on and I record and also I can just focus better when I'm not thinking about doing a video. A couple of things to keep in mind when you're playing with this deck. I played quite a few golem decks. You just have to pressure the other side really, really hard. Play it smart, but pressure that other side and then drop that Inferno Tower over there with the Knight. You can stop the Electro Wizard and kill the Inferno Dragon. Uh, not the Inferno Dragon. You can play that Inferno Tower to kill the golem and then stop the inevitable electro wizard with that knight uh and just keep putting that pressure on the other side whenever he throws that golem down because it only takes one over extension for you to take a tower out with a goblin barrel knight princess deck and with a rocket in in hand you can just just one mistake and i feel like people make a lot of mistakes against this deck in sudden death they're throwing big tanks in the back and you can just punish them severely and, and take towers out in that first push because they committed too much. I almost forgot to open up these chests for you guys. We have got 30,000 gold, which I've been starving for gold. I have multiple cards to take up to level 13 and just no gold to do it. And then we've got the 12 win chests. Let's see what they give us here. We've got 11,000 gold, which thank you. Thank you so much. Some musketeers, some heals, goblins. Man, I have been so lucky with legendaries recently. So lucky. Uh, pulled one from a gold chest this morning. I think it was the bandit. Oh, we don't, we don't get one, but that's okay. Like I said, I've been getting really, really lucky. And we are going to get five witches. Close this chest out. Not the greatest of chests. Heal spells, witches, bomb towers. 
garbage. Good luck in your challenge endeavors. Really, really like the fact that they didn't make this one 2v2 again. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Because... I play better alone. Let me know how you're doing in the challenge down below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And wherever you are in your day, make it awesome. I will see you next time.